My name is Colin Schmidt. Mon nom est Robert Vacassi. Moi, je Wang Jinfeng. I'm Jennifer Buckingham. Glenn Whitener. And I am. I am. Cabot. Cabot. Cabot Microelectronics. I am the Paz Manufacturing Technology Manager at Cabot Microelectronics. What broke me here is the fact that I was working in stride development uh, on a process called CMP, Chemical Mechanical Planarization. I just was working on that process. I was at the right place at the right time. And this process took off in the industry. Cabot needed people to get their story solutions to market. And because it was in demand and a growing, growing area, I was attracted by uh, what Cabot Microelectronics was offering. I work with the customers when, when something's not working the way it's supposed to. I'm kind of the, the front line. I get tossed in there to figure out what's going on. My name is Mark Maxim. Um, I'm a senior product applications engineer here at CMC. I've been here about uh, 15 years, had a lot of uh, experience both working with slurries in-house and traveling around the world visiting customers to troubleshoot problems in the field, um, help with new product introductions, and um, really make sure that our products are being used in the best possible manner so we get the best possible performance. My field is more close to the electron uh, microscopy area. So I do, did a lot of research on the nanomaterials uh, formulation, also nanomaterials uh, characterizations. My job role is as a metrology engineer. Basically, I'm taking care of all the metrology tools, including the defectivity tool, also film thickness uh, measurement tool. So I was hired as a research associate. Um, I worked for uh, Dr. Brusick, Lasta Brusick. My expertise at that time was all chemistry. So as a research associate, my job was to do all the experimentation and offer feedback to the scientists on those experiments to identify what worked and what didn't work with these different combinations of chemistry. The idea is with the CMP slurry, you don't want the chemistry to react unless it's by design. So um, particle treatment is part of a chemical reaction. Even though it's ionic bonding, it's not chemical bonding uh, per se, it's charge association. Um, that helps with colloidal stability. Every other chemical that we put in the slurry, we want it to be uh, by itself until it's ready to do the CMP step, the chemical mechanical polishing. But my job now is to make sure that those chemistries only react as far as we want them to in terms of their purpose in the slurry. So from the standpoint of uh, uh, robustness of a slurry, we have shelf life that we have to worry about. We don't want to have a slurry that has a very short shelf life. It's not shippable. It's not manufacturable. 